Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Caveman Aston, and today I'm going to be showing you these awesome LED strips that are hopefully going to brighten up the garage, or at the very least, liven it up a little bit. Let's get on with it. I'm all about recycling projects wherever possible, so all of the LEDs for this project, initially at least, are recycled from a previous project. I'll give you a quick demo of what it looked like, uh, but it was originally installed on a set of stairs, so the sort of stairs that go up, have a half landing, and then come back the other way. And they were like down lighters, so as you started walking up the stairs, you would have the lights just run just ahead of you, and then they would stay on for about 30 seconds, and they would just gently fade out. So I'll demo that in a bit. So as you imagine I've got a, a button at the bottom of the stairs. I can just hit the button. And it runs up like that. And then eventually, after a, a timer, it should then just fade out nice and slowly. Then the same in reverse, so a button on top of the stairs. And get it to fade out. But for the actual project, I've got just under five meters worth of LEDs. They are the 60, uh, me 60 LEDs per meter type, uh, the five volt WS twenty eight eleven B, so the five volt ones. So they sit in this plastic trunking, just so they were originally held in that to stop you actually being able to see the LED, and you could just see the light. It's quite helpful for being on the stairs. For myself an Arduino Mega and the cable, I think it's just an eBay cheap one, does the job fine. I recommend the Mega because it's got more space for storing the program and with this many LEDs, just under 300 LEDs, it needs the extra space rather than an Uno or a Nano. Got a 5 volt power supply, 40 amps, about 200 watts. And now I've got a mains cable to connect up to that. And I've just got some exposed ends, I'll put some uh, ring like uh, the car crimps, so the screw will hold it in place and it won't fall out. And all of this is just excess cable from the original installation, so I'll try and reuse really that where possible. Uh, let's get building. These LED strips are made of WS2811 or 2812B LEDs. So they're 5 volt LEDs and they've got one data line that goes up through the center of all of them. So that means that you've got power, ground, and one signal line for the whole lot. And each LED can have its own uh, sort of status, so each LED can have its own color, and that's how I'm managing to get them to slowly run up and down the strip, whereas some of the cheaper strips only allow you to change the whole thing as one big run. So that means you can do all sorts of awesome things, such as making it do runs like this, you know, it as a, a giant rainbow, have the whole thing fade through the rainbow colors, you can make it chase, you can make it do like Knight Rider effects, like anything you can think of, they're awesome. I absolutely love them. And if you're looking at getting into programming, they're awesome. Because you can start off really simple and get more and more complicated as you go along. So if you're getting into Arduino programming, or even if you're really good at programming, check them out. I think they're great. Okay guys, here is my Arduino Mega. Uh, I decided to use a Mega because I find that Using the Nano, there's not quite enough memory in it for the amount of LEDs that I've got. So, I tend to find the extra memory helps out a little bit more, and where I've got it running some extra stuff from its original program on the stairs, it's checking for button presses and whatnot. So, it, it tends to just run a little bit better. Um, as you can see, all I've got is the yellow wire going into the ground connection, and hopefully I can get it to focus. There's a blue wire in there, that's just one of the digital pins and that actually connects around to the LEDs. The power supply itself is a 5 volt, 40 amp power supply and hopefully across the top you can see it's got three common rails and three positive rails, so they're also the 5 volt rails and then on the far left it's got live neutral and earth so it's a pretty standard power supply and I've just spread out my connections across all three pins just to make the most of the space. As I mentioned, I've got the blue wire it connects into the three pin jack there. So I've got power, ground, and blue wire that sends the data in. Here's a, an up close of the LEDs. So you may be able to see the copper pads just in the middle on the strip. 
So those are so that you can actually solder in or cut the wire halfway along or anywhere along really. And you can then just cut the strips to length and use them as you want. And that's the strip slowly going out of focus. Right, so as I mentioned before guys, I've programmed the LEDs or the Arduino myself. I can talk to it directly from a USB port using the Arduino software and I can tell it what to do. So all of the settings are changeable. So I can change the delay to change how fast this moves, change the color, change the length of the pixels, change the distance between those pixels that are on. Now I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of all of that happening and all the different settings that can be changed in the software. So this is the LED strips, uh, full white, it's pretty bright, looking up at the ceiling at the moment, so if I get it mounted on the ceiling, which is the plan, I'm going to just screw it into some of the joists up top, have it facing down, and because they're spread out, I don't get any shadows across the workbench, so that's, that's the plan. Um, I'll be doing that soon, so hopefully some of the videos will have a bit more even lighting in them, which will be great news. Um, I'm a little bit worried that the... Uh, they might not be bright enough, but hopefully that will sort itself out. Uh, but otherwise I'm, I'm really pleased, so I'm going to start programming some more functions and uh, that will keep me busy for a while. The plan now is I'm going to mount these up on the ceiling. I've got some wooden rafters going over the top of the bench, so I can just screw in the plastic trunking and that will hold everything up on the ceiling. So I'll do that, and I'm going to spend a bit of time programming, rewriting some of the existing functions, and just get these doing all sorts of incredibly cool looking patterns. Once I've done that, I'll do a quick video just to show you all the different patterns that I've come up with, as there's not a whole load of different patterns that are easily available, so I'll do that. But uh, otherwise, this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit the like button, and if you made it this far, please do consider subscribing. You might have enjoyed it just a little bit, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!